so on this week's installment of Greg's Gripes, <laughs> I've, I've taken over Greg's Gripes. I'm not saying I've taken over Greg. I'm not saying I am Greg. I'm saying I heard about a particular gripe, and, and Greg's Gripes, I feel, are open to anyone who really has a yeah. complaint, critique. Amanda here, lovely Amanda from the wonderful Arcane Comics, has a story I think needs to be told. I heard about it as it almost happened at the ECC, Emerald City Comic Con. I, I made a point to, you know, vocalize my opinion on the situation. And I wanted to bring you on to talk about it, because I gotta call baloney. Not on you. <laughs> and when you hear this story, you'll be like, oh, that's what's going on. Yes. Tell them what happened. All right. Well, Testify. I walked up to the line at Lou Ferrigno's uh, signing stand there and waited probably a good 20, 25 minutes. There was a good line there to begin with early on in the day. Uh, I, I got there, I came up to him. There wasn't a, a sign posted for an actual autograph itself. It was just autograph with purchase. And so the cheapest item there was actually like a postcard, $25, or a poster, $30. And do you get like a lot of autographs? from like celebrities or yeah, whatever? Yeah, you get a lot of autographs, but there's other times there's been, you know, listed autograph fees sure. or, you know, they're like $10, for, you know. Yeah. I wasn't standing in line for Stanley and I wasn't doing the Leonard Nimoy. I saw them though in flesh, they're real, and that was good. Um, but <laughs> the thing with Lou is that uh, I had this crappy little VHS tip. It was actually uh, Incredible Hercules itself was, it was the, the case itself had been spliced up and put inside a little rental plastic case. So it was, it's worthless. It's, it's 99 cent bin stuff. Um, I walked up to him with that and uh, also in need of a $30 poster that he had that, to sign. Because he brings to Danny, his own posters. Because we have a customer with a son who's hearing impaired and he looks up to Lou. So I said, Lou okay. Because also hearing impaired, That's too. That's the thing. There's so, a, there's a thing. There's know. a nice role model. There's a there's, nice, like, hey. You know, you, you got to yeah. admire the guy. He's, sure. he's had some things going on for him. Um, got the poster signed, but the thing was, I was like, okay, so $30 for this. How much with this? He said 40 I'm like, okay. So 40 gesticulated, you know, motioning to both items. He signed both items and then looked at me, deadpan serious, and said 70 and I was like, what? <laughs> because I had assumed when he mentioned 40 that it was then $10 to sign this shitty VHS date. So let me see if I get this right. Mm -hmm. He charged you more. He charged me more for an item that I brought that's in terrible, terrible shape. Uh, he charged you more to sign if something was free, that If the autograph cost came with nothing. purchase, then I could have just purchased a $25 postcard. Yeah. Um, and then had him sign the VHS tape in theory, but there wasn't a listed autograph fee, so I had just asked him how much to sign, you know, this and the poster. So I, you know, and I looked and was like, oh, haha, ha. thought I, you know, was asking prices for both. And he was like, oh, ha. and then again, dead, dead serious look, so like seventy dollars, just kind of. <laughs> and you know, Lou, I can understand, huge line. You're just dealing with people taking the money, but there really was no like, thanks for waiting. Oh, thanks for bringing this VHS tape. There, there was nothing. There was no way to actually get, move beyond this wall with him. There was just literally um, hammy money. <laughs> and that's the vibe we had from him, too, yeah. of, like, he was there for the money and not for the fans. Yeah. Dude! And I want to be understanding, again, like, it, it's the thing where, okay, he, he is actually hearing impaired. So, you know, my, my gesticulating going, oh... 40 for both maybe that was enough but then again like the personality part to it just it made it impossible to like have like a conversation he about was, anything. Uh, so, we, we spent some time yeah. talking to some of the other celebrities out there yeah celebrities or celebrities artists people writers, people who deal with a lot of people people who are in they the same were, spot you know? they were all killer thomas jane aaron yeah. douglas aaron gray everyone we talked to artists as well and you've seen the footage you already know yeah. The guild, everyone was so sweet and nice. And I think you go to a con, you're you're selling something. Yeah. You're selling your brand, you're selling you, whatever it is. He was not friendly, he was not approachable, and his line wasn't that big, let yeah. alone kind of empty in the I booth. I think for it a happened while. kinda and that was the thing. Like it, it was it was kinda the, it was there. 
yeah. for a while in the beginning, early on in the day. So part of me just kicked myself because maybe I should have gone at the end of the day he when it was friendly. Totally he empty. wasn't friendly but later in the day either. I just though. kept trying to justify it to myself in little ways, like maybe he's a man who's made a lot of money and lost a lot of money. But then again, he was also Michael Jackson's personal trainer, so I'm pretty sure. And look at how that worked out. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Here's here's my gripe. Here's my point. Like, look, you can show up to a con, and for those of you who have been to a con, or, yeah. when you have people wanting to like you, you have a choice right there. Yeah. Right there of being like, I can be in it for the money and in it for me, or I can be nice to people. And look, he still could have charged you. He could have been polite about it. He could have made a joke. He could whatever. You brought something. He charged you more for he something you more brought. For like, this that's the part that drives that, me nuts. You know, and I understand there's though you could go online and sell this, but it's it's a terrible Yeah, well, what's that really example. worth? It's Lou goddamn Ferrigno. Like, how yeah. how much are you going to get back? Are you going to get your 40 bucks back? No. 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 Yeah. And that's not the point no. of why you did it. You explained why you did it. It's not like there's a ton of Lou Ferrigno fans there, out well, there. Well, there's a moment. Yeah, I like to go up and shake hands, be like, "Thank you." I like sure. what you guys do. I don't. I don't need to have like a 20-minute conversation no. about the history of you know going but, up to any artist, performer, writer. Let's say in the scope of things, but, you know, here's here's the amount hard. of Lou Ferrigno fans. Yeah. Now it's a little smaller. Yeah. Cause. I gotta tell you, like, and I've told the story to a few people, and I know yeah. you have, and it's gotten out there. No, I, I, I complain about it a whole lot, and then because it sucks. Yeah. And had he been nice, that's the story we'd be telling. We'd yeah. all be like, "That Lou Ferrigno's great." Yeah. But now this is this is what he's done. He's done it. Yeah. It's been a dick, and in fact, it's funny because you know, a handful of episodes ago, we coined a phrase. We. Uh, the HP, you've heard us refer to it before. And now I actually have to amazingly award him that title. <laughs> like, that is life imitating art or art imitating life? I don't know. But God damn it, Lou Ferrigno, you're a dick. There you go. That's, <laughs> I, I, you know, it like. I don't know. He's still when, not a man that I'm going to, like, walk When you have a choice of being nice he's, he's or just greedy, like, you walk away with him feeling greedy. Yeah, yeah. Not a good feeling. Yeah. And everybody else we talk to, super sweet and kind. Erin Gray, she'll take a picture, and she tells you what's up. She's like, look, take a picture, happy to do it, yeah. donating proceeds to charity. Yeah, that's sweet. awesome. I don't know. If Lou Ferrigno's in money problems, that's time to figure out why Lou Ferrigno's in money problems. But don't take that out on the fans. Because... You're going to lose fans. Yeah. And that's the goddamn gripe. Well. Makes me angry, I swear. <laughs>